Right now, you see the waveforms being produced by the PC right now on this device. The microphone is out to that, and my monitor out is to my digital camera. So you're hearing PC right now, and that recorded audio, and I'm pressing the mute button. You can see it's muted, but it's not muted to PC. This never, ever, 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 ever mutes to PC, if that's something you're wondering about. In fact, a lot of interfaces don't have a mute button. A lot of the ones that do, are made for streaming like the Elgato Wave XLR. Right now you're listening to the Lewitt Ray microphone. Now watch what I can do. Here we go. We have the Aura on and it's focused on me. It's unmuted. That is the first of its XLR mic. This is an XLR microphone that adjust its volume for your distance. If I go up close, the volume is going to stay about the same as if I went far away. Really cool technology built in this microphone. Mute button built in as well. Right now we're listening to this microphone. This is the Fine Fine Tank 3. We'll notice that we hear some of that gameplay in the background, just that noise of water. Let me show you how I set this up. First step for game streaming, we're going to set our microphone. So this is my device. I'm going to have my desktop audio. And of course, we're going to be capturing our desktop, which we see right now. Next, we're going to go here as well and choose one of our virtual devices. In this case, that's my speakers. I don't want that chosen. I have to choose this output device before I start my game or else I'll play through my speakers and they'll get feedback and that will be no good to anyone. So can we game stream with the Personas? Quantum ES2, yes, yes we can. But this is a dynamic mic and it's great for not picking up noise. So let me show you a demo of this microphone quickly. Now that we see this cool looking game. I wouldn't recommend this by the way for kids. This is a very violent game, but it does look really, really cool. This Fine Fine Tank 3 is basically a flat response microphone, but it does reject some noise around it. Is there any sound seeping through? when I press mute on this device. I can press channel one, and now I'm gonna press that mute button. So now, there we go, there we go. Make sure you turn your volume down. You might wonder why do I have some of these other cables on my desk? What would I do with this? What would I do with this? Maybe, maybe I record two guitars, but they'll be mono together. So that's the one problem is you got to set your guitar volume individually. So your input is proper all together because you got the same input levels, both left and right, but you can connect two guitars. Let's say I have one microphone and um, I'm recording left or right speaker. Right now we hear both only because that's how my connection is to my PC. Yes, this is not connected, by the way. That can go away. So now I can take this, connect this, and I have both speakers. Hello. Hello. Now that I have this connected, and I have phantom power on, we can see they're both combined. They're both white. When I pressed one, they're both combined right now because I pressed the button both together, set my volume, set my fan of power so I can change that. See, now they're individual again. Press it down. When they go both white, there we go. Now it's combined. If we take a close look at this audio interface, there's those quarter inch jacks there. Now, would I use it for monitor in? Only if my device is really hot audio wise, like has a lot of volume. Otherwise, honestly, it is extremely quiet, even at the trim of plus 12, or compared to minus 12 being quieter. Now, it's not preamped when using those line in ports. And that's where you can use this XLR to quarter inch. Now, would I take this cheap, affordable audio interface and connect it to here? No matter which way I connect it? No. No, I wouldn't. I connect it to my digital camera for a review on my audio interface and it works just fine. But to this, I just can't make it sound good. Not No fault of this audio interface. This is from what I've my testing so far, it's actually really good. This is really affordable, so I'll leave that to the wind. 
what we see down here is a bunch of methods to connect different things. So if I were to say connect this, I could use a, say a quarter inch adapter from the 3.5 millimeter TRS. Let's see what I do. Let's see, I think I can get volume. There we go. Okay, so we do have volume right here as we hear. And I'm speaking through this. I just powered on manually. It doesn't have mic power. like it. So that's where if I want mic power to turn it on off automatically with this particular device, I'm gonna use the Rode VXLR Pro. What if I wanna do something different? What if I wanna have four microphones connected to this one interface? You see how it's connected right now? I got two males connected to the interface. Those are the ones with pins to the female. I just go inverse. I have one connection here and two out. Connect two microphones and I can go to the other, like so left and right, can both have two ends out. And then we can combine four microphones into this one audio interface. Be careful, mix matching 40 volts phantom power versus no phantom power. So you put your phantom power on one and the non phantom power on the other side if you're using a dynamic and a condenser microphone. Of course, the high z port for instrument is the best way to go. What if you want stereo guitar? You want it left and right channel so you can edit individually. That's where I can use this new tricks adapter that is XLR two quarter inch and insert it right here. Make sure you have your phantom power off. I fried two lavaliers, wired lavaliers before because I left it on and used this adapter down to 3.5 millimeter TRS. You can get left and right guitar. I can also get uh, four guitars if you really want to. I could get the dual jack to have two mics plus two guitars. But ideally, if you don't need to adjust the volumes and you don't need stereo guitar, you can just use the mono and then put your microphones on the second channel because your guitar knocks out this channel. Now you know. Say your 48 volts phantom power to about three volts or four volts. I believe it's four volts or something like that. But either way, that is mic in power. It'll power on and off certain devices such as, um, such as my Track Shop Pro right here. Now I'm going to turn on phantom power. It is on for channel two. Mm. There we go. There we go with this microphone from Kamuka. Right now you're listening to my DDW Lav wire lavalier. Connected right here, as we can hear. And it's connected to the Rode VXLR Pro to the lavalier. And when I press the button, you can see that 48 volts phantom power is on. If I turn it off, oh, there we go. We still have volume. No, wait, that's because I turned off the wrong one. There we go. And uh, I gotta turn that. Turn that on again, turning it on again. Now you can hear the sound. Right now my TrackShot Pro, which I'm speaking on, and I'm speaking really loud, but it's not very loud that you hear is connected to line in. It's a non-amplified port. And right now my sound is at only 23 dB, which is extremely low. And the cool thing, by the way, I can auto gain this. I can auto gain, so we're gonna do test, 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 mic test, one, two, three. I am auto gaining the track shot pro. I am auto gaining the track shot pro. I am auto gaining. So there we go. Now I auto gained the track shot pro and that's connected to my instrument port. Subscribe to Spark E Studio and help this channel grow. The Personas Quantum ES2. Hacks like this and more I have on this channel. And if you want to see a review of the Universal Audio Apollo X Revision 2. Thunderbolt edition. Help this channel grow and give me a reason to get that audio interface. Yes, at my coin for your review of that device, as well as I'll be getting the Lewitt Pure Tube microphone. So watch for that review coming as well as a noise isolation shield for a microphone. Until next time, thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day.